you go. One, two, go. Whoa! Whoa. into a battery and charge it. I think it's the world or so I don't know what that is, but that isn't that wild? Oh, yeah. Alright, those two boxes over there are what mommy got you guys. Wait, hold on, not yet. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Both sides of it. A gift of love. <laughs> There's the balance. There's the balance. Wait. Here's the balance. <coughs> Alright. Let's start at the book. Count of three. One. Wait, I know it. Oh, look at it. What is it? Oh, D. What is it? The game. It's a, it explores a co-op cooperative adventure game. Awesome! I can play this with my sister. Mommy ought to show us uh, what that. So uh, what's, what's called? this? That's investigation. Investigation. I can play with my sister. <laughs> detective game. I gotta balance the weapons with a cooperative game. <laughs> Wait, see their enthusiasm. I know. 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 I Oh, Rogi, I love it! Oh, a calendar! Uh-huh. Thanks, Tiger! Yeah. Thanks, buddy. That's awesome. Hey, Dad, open my mouth. Maybe like cards. Yes, yes, thank you. Mom, tell me when you want to open yours. Okay. It's not Mom. really a big thing when I have it. Thank you. It's a song. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I'll take it. It's a thing for <laughs> Gosh, he's got this thing all. This all is from you? Locked down in here. Engraving art. Oh my world. I thought you would like it. Oh, it's, it's cool. cool. Will you help me do it? I love yeah. it. How do you think? It's you. You're welcome. It's, it's not too much, but I love it. You I know what? It. It's a thought, and see. I love it. We're gonna play with it. Oh, cool! Ravens football. Look at that! I got engraving art. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. You like that? Mom? I thought that I, mom would want to. That is a great that. idea. No mommy and art. That is a oh. great idea. Okay. Watch the video, Tony. Come on. Oh, mom and dad. Oh, those are cool. Look at those, Luke. Oh, they smell good. Hey, can you open these? That is, those are from us. Okay. Or from mommy. And daddy. And daddy. Mom, look, Santa got me some new um pants. Oh, like cool. Pants. What's this big thing over here? Um, this is my art desk. Oh my gosh, Santa got you the art desk. He yeah. got exactly here. Is it the one oh. that you wanted? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And look what it comes with. What does it come with? It comes with. Oh sweet! A this sweet. one, a desk, and um, a pencil thing, and a chair. Oh, all in that box? Yeah. Holy crap! Oh, Dad! Dad! What is it, Dad? What did Santa? Oh, cool! Santa brought you that. Cool. Oh, this one comes to you. Okay. Sweet. Oh my God. Four. <laughs> It's recording. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? I don't know. It's Logan's Logan. birthday. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that what you always wanted? <laughs> Wait, let me see. What is it? He's not sure. Oh, oh, oh. I can't oh. to figure out what oh. it goes to. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know. He has a drum set, so I might go to it. It's a clue. What does he have? Hold it up. Mm. An accessory. Mm. 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 So 
line. Yeah. <laughs> And how did I know that this is a book? <laughs> what's it? What's it about, Tiger? I don't know. I haven't. Looks good. Oh, um, Grayson read that. Is it good? Um, I think so. Grayson Vermeer, it's supposed to be really good. This one's heavy. This is for the reader. Okay. <laughs> you got me a big giant book. <laughs> This is supposed to be awesome. Hey, bro, can you zoom on this? Whoa, yeah. that looks great. And Mason, you might, you might want to read this some too. But this oh, yeah. one, The Invention of Hugo Cabaret. Look at this. Now what is this? A microphone. No way. And that's the amp, I know it. Ah, you little rascal. No, I didn't think it's just so heavy. <laughs> that? Look. Look at that. Is that the right one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That's for me, Mom. What is this? Wait. Oh. That goes this is here. like so it attaches to it and then it attaches to the, um, uh -huh. the amp. I'm going to lift this open. You're going to have to get Uncle Bill to set this whole thing up for you. I knew it! Holy smokes, look at that thing. Dad, but it's this size, but look what it can do. Look at all this. Look at it. Whoa. Holy smokes, it's got a whole bunch of buttons. That is awesome, Tiger. Yeah! Happy birthday, Tiger. Happy birthday to Whoa, me! Wait a minute. What's that? I know. Oh, yeah. And I also got that. Yeah. You all notice that mom has that? Yeah. Uh, oh, this is the stand. Right. Ooh. That way like, you can play the drums and you can still have the mic yeah. on the stand. Or mommy can sing or do her guitar and sing while you're doing the drums. It can all work. No, no, no. No, no, no. We don't want mommy to sing. This is mine. No, 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 no. A little karaoke at the Woody's house. Okay, so now you have these two left. Oh, yeah. yeah. You want to these last one. I'm going to need more passes. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to need a knife. I think you can just rip it up and then play something to rip it. This shoe has a tag. Yeah. Oh, look, another book. Land of Curiosities. Is there a this card is, in there? This is um, a, a new book that has come out. And um, it takes place in Yellowstone National Park, where you are all out in Wyoming. And it's all environmental stuff. It's the first of many series. Um, it's got a real history of the West. Okay. And then how to protect the environment. It's, it's an effort, and there's a whole kids' organization. I think it sounds. Seekers. I think it sounds good. Yeah, it's supposed to be really good. It got written up as, and it's like a whole Hardy Boys if they're Echo Seekers. It starts in Yellowstone, and some young, a brother and sister come up with the story. Oh really? And the organization for kids to get involved in, it, in the land and environmental issues. And that one's very strange. Yeah. Oh, so you already got that? Yeah. What's that, Logan? Like? A bellows machine. Well, it's so oh, excited, neat. seriously. Oh, well, okay. I wasn't sure you wanted that. <laughs> no. <laughs> just don't. I'll have it. it. No! Jeez. This mm, one's the same good, size. This looks good, though. This looks good, this book, though. Oh. <clears throat> you just threw a wrap in it. And another bell is That's the second one. We don't have that one. No, wait. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. You're going to have to watch mm -hmm. the stupidity of your fingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what oh, oh, oh. Mason's 11. Mason Mason's 11. Woo! Look at that. that. Two. Two. All right. All right. Happy birthday, big guy. Um, so you, you got are... your amp, your microphone. You and Daddy can read the directions while we're gone. Well, maybe Uncle Bill will be here real soon. Can get and that, that's a wrap, folks. I'm sorry. We only have... I don't know. Oh, well. Alright. I am sorry, but... Well, that's not a wrap. Oh, well. We still have to roll. Uh, roll! <clears throat> that was weird. Alright. Let's go in the kitchen. You need more light in here. No, we don't. Mason. Don't take all the ones. Mason. 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 That was my strangely dad. Logan's coming to you. Alright, Mason, gotta go. We'll leave him here in 15 minutes. Mason, can you grab me, um, so, um, um, some, uh, like a knife? What's that? Hey, turn that off. It's mine. Um, it looks like you just gonna have my block fill pipe. Yeah, Alright, Mason, turn that off, buddy. It's done. Get ready. Come on, Tyson. Buddy. I don't know. We gotta get out of here. You gotta leave at 7. So come on. Alright, look. How do I turn it off? First, first, this. Wait a minute, I got it. There we go, now I see you. Urban. <laughs> we got a new ride! <laughs> where, where do you put your money in, Lug? <laughs> Why?
Uh, I do not know exactly what's going on today because Ms. Christopher has wanted me to, to have it all be a surprise, and I didn't think that I was going to get emotional until this <laughs> You're going to have to bear with me. Um, let's see, I want to I want to take a moment to um, share a story and impart some sort of inspirational words of wisdom to, to the parents and, and the children of Kay, and I've stayed up late trying to search the web for an inspiring quote or story or some advice that I could pass on to you all that would leave you and the children in awe and I didn't know. for you know, years thinking, wow, Mrs. Isabel, she's deep. <laughs> <laughs> I, the other day I was out on the playground with Miss Cromwell and another parent and um, you know, they reminded me it's kindergarten. They're five and six year olds. It's all about having fun and playing. Um, and that's really what I think life is all about, because when we get to the end, it's over. So hopefully everybody had a good time while, while they were, were living their life. So I did find a short little story that I thought sort of summed up this feeling, yet still imparted some wisdom. I don't know how to it, but it's entitled, Today is the Best Day. We sat on the swing enjoying the warm summer air, truly without a care in the world. Cody, my six-year-old nephew, laughed as he swung higher than me. His laugh made me smile. Afterwards, we went for a walk, looking at the gardens. As we were walking, Cody looked up at me and said, Today is the best day. I smiled at him and replied, Yes, it is a great day. Then I then started thinking about what had we done that day. We didn't really do anything special. There was nothing that we did that cost any money. It was a simple day. One where we talked, went for walks, and swung on the swing. So often we wait for our best days without realizing that today is our best day. Or we say, when I get this, or if only this, or when I have more money, I will. And we forget to live every day, enjoying today. We should be more like children. They truly live in the moment. They don't need expensive things to make them happy. They don't use the phrase, if only, or when I get this, or when I have more money. <coughs> There's a saying, carpe diem, which means seize the day. As we get older, we need to remember the saying and enjoy each and every day. Keep your childlike attitude of living each moment to its fullest. We do not stop playing because we are old. We grow old because we stop playing. So my parting words to both our kindergarten class and to their parents and families is to never stop playing and to always have fun. So I'm now going to turn it over to the children and have a fun begin. <laughs>
for you. I'm excited. I have you to see the whole thing. So, get out your hanky. So. <laughs>
Today is Wednesday, June the 4th, 2008. And would you all please stand for our pledge? And in both instances, we're going to be honoring people. And today I want to begin our program to talk a little bit about volunteers. Because volunteers are very important to our culture, to our society. And then after that, we will have our transition ceremony with our lower and middle school students. But as I look at your faces, I think of, of many times that we've had wonderful interactions in the hall about all kinds of issues. And you've always been polite, you've always been respectful, and you've always been <coughs> uh, thinking about what's best for Odyssey School. So I wish you all well as we uh, bid you adieu today and tomorrow. So to begin our lower school, begin our transition ceremony, we're going to ask, I'm going to ask Mrs. Sweeney to join me on stage, and our five transitioning lower school students, if you could please come up. And Mrs. Sweeney, when did you all of them? Good morning to you all. Before I introduce our lower school transitioning students, I have to just say that was one incredible song. And I think we're going to be hearing that. Morning. We are sad to see each of these 15 students go, but we are very excited for them. 
there are new schools, there are new opportunities, and there are new horizons. So it's my pleasure to invite up our five transitioning lower school students, Tommy Gilmore, Logan Woody, <coughs> Max Hyatt, Shannon Pieper, and Sam McCoy. These five students are actually going to run for president beginning tomorrow. So we're going to have a roundtable discussion here. And we're going to pass the mic around a little bit. And uh, well, Tommy here, uh, a lot of times, Tommy, when you've come out of the car, you, you, you're smiling a lot. Okay? You smile every day. So I think you've had a, had a good time at Odyssey. Can you tell us something you've really liked about Odyssey School, Tommy? Okay. My friends and my teachers. Tommy? <laughs> Tommy also gets a distinction and when he came out a couple times, I said, Tommy, you're a rock star. Tommy Gilmore. There's a there's a Tommy would laugh at me and all that. And also Tommy has a problem because he's the first one speaking. So Logan, I'm gonna pass this along to you and what is one favorite memory you have of the Odyssey School? The science fair and the art. Yeah, we'll pass this over to Mrs. Sweeney. And she's going to ask a couple other questions. Sam, can you tell us maybe a favorite memory or a favorite experience you had at Odyssey? Um, probably making a paper machine <coughs> in our class with some fish. Um, just the wet newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Shannon? Do you have a favorite memory? It would probably have to be last year's science fair because um, the lasers got to be in it, and so since I was a laser, I was in it. <coughs> How about you, Max? Um, well, we went to Echo Hill and I'd have to kiss the fish. <laughs> <laughs> lot of fun getting the chance to see you all at Echo Hill, the three sloops that went this year. Lots of good teamwork, lots of trying to keep each other balanced on a big log, some good adventure. Um, Max, would you like to tell us where you're going to go to school next year? Boys Latin. What are you looking forward to at Boys Latin? Um, the, my friends that I have there. So you already know some people there. Yeah. That would be nice. Could you share I will be going to Faith Christian. And where's Faith Christian? Westminster. Westminster. Mm -hmm. What about you, Sam? Anything you want to tell us about next year? Uh, I will be going to Mount View School. Is that close to your house? Yeah. Short drive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tommy, why don't you tell us what school you're going to go to next year? I'm actually at Conception. And is that close to your house, too? Yes. Okay. <laughs> And how about you, Logan? St. Ed's. St. Ed's. Is that in the state of Maryland or is that in another state? In another state. Mm. And what letter does that state begin with? Does it start with the letter? Yeah. Okay, so what is our one state that starts with the letter F? Florida. Florida. <laughs> we're going to be moving far away. Okay. Well, thank you all for sharing with us this morning. Is there anything else that anybody wanted to say to Mrs. Sweeney, your wonderful principal? I know we caught you. They're speechless. <laughs> well, I want to thank Mrs. Sweeney for taking such good care of these five youngsters as they've been thinking about moving away from Odyssey. And I know it's very hard uh, when you're thinking about uh, moving to a new school and you know you have to uh, leave your teachers, but Mrs. Sweeney has done a great job. So I'd like all of you to please give Mrs. Sweeney a round of applause. This group has been very easy to take care of. They are a wonderful, capable group of students, and I know they are going to do amazingly well in their next adventures. I think we have something special to pass out to them.
<laughs> okay, Mr. Said. Sweeney will call out the names and I will then give them a, a certificate. Tommy Gilmore. Logan Woody. <laughs> Max Hyatt. <laughs> Shannon Peeper. Sam McCoy. Congratulations. chance to work with Mrs. Penn. And Mrs. Penn does a lot of things to help our transitioning students think about their next school. And in a few minutes, Mrs. Penn will join me on stage, but I want to recognize her this morning before we... Oh, I'm so excited because in front of me I have several middle school students who are ready to transition. And they have grown academically and personally too, and they are ready to go. They're going to spend a few minutes sharing their thoughts about their transition uh, to their new schools and about their, their experience here at Odyssey. And I'd like to present each of them, um, call them each one by one to come up to the uh, stage. And our first one is Elizabeth Camp. My life at Odyssey has been amazing. I have attended Odyssey for the past two and a half years. When I first came to Odyssey, I was petrified. I thought that everyone made fun of me because they didn't know what to do right. But after a few days, I made many friends and the school felt much easier. It was also hard because I started Odyssey in January when I was only nine years old. For my first year at Odyssey, I had to live with my grandparents and my aunt and uncle, while my parents and my brother lived in Vero Beach, Florida. I really appreciate how my grandparents and my aunt and uncle helped me get through my first year at Odyssey. Thank you, Woody, Susie, Belle, and Bill. Over the summer, my parents and my brother moved to Baltimore. Now my brother and Logan and I could attend Odyssey together. It was a lot of hard work, but seeing I started reading, writing, and understanding what the words actually meant, I was so happy that I could finally read. I was not afraid to read books to my cousins. I could even read the street signs on the road. Reading was becoming fun, and I loved going to school at Odyssey. Well, this is my last year at Odyssey. I am now 11 years old and reading and writing. I will be starting a new school in Florida, and I will be taking all of my reading and writing schools with me. I would like to thank all of my teachers, especially my language teachers and tutors. Thank you, Odyssey, for everything you have given me. I now have the tools that I need to be a successful student. Thank you. 